Ah, the choices we make in Tarkov. <laughs> to loot or not to loot. Ah, charge! To attack or to crawl back in your rat hole until the danger passes. To quest or get out while you're still ahead. When your backpack is overflowing with weapon attachments and potential gold. Now, now, these are but a few examples of what you're about to see in today's video as we push forward and continue the hunt for the great Kappa container. That was easy. All right, I don't know what I'm expecting, man. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. What just happened? Oh no, they were geared. Oh, what? Oh! Alright, don't mind if I do. Holy crap, dude. Okay. I was totally relaxed for this. I don't know why. I usually am not when going into dorms. Holy shit, bro. Uh, you know what? Do this. Oh my. Don't tell me there's a third guy just sitting in a corner somewhere. You never know these days, man. I remember when people used to camp in that bathroom, waiting for you to use the mark key. Oh my. There we go. We gotta make some room, dude. Long boys. We got two long boys. Sugar! That's cool. Hey! Am I tripping? No, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm not. I'm not tripping. Holy shit. It's like a squad. Thought I saw more. Whoa! Oh, no, no. It's not on me. your friends dude and so the waiting game began i knew there was at least one more guy from that posse so for probably around 10 minutes i continuously moved up and down that ridge scanning the area trying to find him but the coast was seemingly clear so i decided to make a move because i was wasting time bro i needed the loot ah charge okay oh Okay. His friends were probably like, yo, fuck your shit, we're out of here. And all I wanted was to check filing cabinets. Okay, it was it was a nice raid. We got some stuff. But let's not get too hot headed right here. Yep, it was shoreline time. And I gotta tell you one thing. Loving the MP5. It's basic. It's fairly cheap. You know, PST GZH works most of the time. Yeah, I don't got the money for the fancy stuff. But quests needed to be done and risks had to be taken. Oh my god, I am such a taskmaster. What quest king? Cause this task ain't got nothing on me, dude. Look at me go, bro. like three months in I'm probably gonna get the Kappa by the end of this year it's not that I don't want to it's like can't focus hard enough man Doodaloo. 
Go! What? Oh my, hello. Damn it. You gotta be in the house or something. Whoa! That went well. Too well, if you ask me. Alright. Hey! Oh my, dude, that was a player. For sure. What the hell? This guy just finished him. Oh, it was his friend. Holy shit. Dude, it had to have been the friend from the guy I dropped. Where's my mag? Oh! SVD. Boy's got an SVD. My dude. Um. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Bad thinking, fair. This is very bad. I think he's gone. Oh! I know. I could have played that better. Hey, what you gonna do? Sometimes you just fall and break your legs and get stuck behind a rock doing surgery, and a guy pushes you with a suppressed shotgun. What you gonna do? Alas, I traveled to customs. Carrying a Wee Wee 19. Ow! What the hell? Alright. Am I gonna catch a break like last time? Oh. Hello. Whoa! Alright. You know, there was a great debate going around in my head. I almost completed all the tasks I had on customs. Come on, let's be honest, I had to progress on all maps much faster if I wanted that cap out, right? However, I lacked a certain item. <laughs> and that item, as you probably already guessed, was a single key. But not just any key. A key to Wally Logistics Department. So a single task managed to get me so mad that I decided to shell out 500,000 rubles, get the key, and try and finish the most annoyingly trivial task in Escape from Tarkov. Oh, it was a hatchling. You gotta be shitting me. What the hell? Bro, why? Alright, well... Oh, come the fuck on, bro. Oh, calm down with the knives. Still can't believe I shelled out 500k for this key. Okay. Dude, why Why is it so expensive? I just don't get it. It's like everybody wants to stop you from progressing. I think we're good. Alright, let's fucking do this. For so long, I've needed this key. Dude, I tried to find it. I don't know if there's like a set in stone spawn, but I just relied on scav pockets and stuff. Oh. Didn't have any luck. Alright, the last one is by those containers outside. We're good. Good. Oh. 
Wait, I'm shredding with the uh, PSC GZH. Probably didn't have any armor, but looking good though. So I moved forward, marked the last van, checked a few stashes, and left the raid. It was shoreline time again, but you know how most of the time you have to like work for your loot? In other times, you just happen to stumble upon a random thick boy just laying there with all his stuff up for grabs. You see, this right here is my main distraction when it comes to completing tasks. This much loot. Yeah, sure, I'll risk it when I'm juiced up. But when I'm this juiced up? No, no, no sir. Thank you. I'm out. Whoa! Oh my god! How did you die? What the hell? Okay. Dude, I'm gonna get sniped. So you know what else is new? I got Shooter born in heaven, so yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. I didn't record any crazy kills. Not that I tried too hard, but I think that has to be done properly. Anyway, I tried it on reserve, but you know the good old forgot to eat after raid happened. So instead of trying to find people to snipe, I had to search for food instead. Where are you going, friend? First of all, that's not 100 meters. Second of all, he's not a player. Food! Like a Slickers bar, bro. Anything. Where'd you go? I still hear him. Oh, oh my, oh, okay, I'm, that was dirty, that was dirty. Good job, thank you. Oh my god, lifesaver. Bro, what the hell? Dude, shotgun for the win. One, three, three for the win. Hell yeah, bro. So I looted what I could and got the hell out of there, but you're probably wondering, hey Fair, how come you haven't used the new guns? Well, I took the UMP out for a spin, had a pretty good time, was not expecting that at all. Ah! No, that wasn't him. Thought it was the scab boss first. Not a sky boss, it's a player. Yes, sir. Come out, little bitch. Get you with the UMP. There's more than one. Okay. And there was three. Now's my chance. Be a little rat. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still got the other guy though. He's rocking a suppressed 153. I gotta be careful. Yeah. 
Come closer! Yep. Alright, I'm happy. Happy with how this turned out. So you pretty much have to use the UMP like a... Okay, honestly, I think this is the perfect rat weapon, right? It, it's very situational, you know? I, I can't give you a straight answer if you're asking whether or not it's good. Bro, say all- Oh my god, move! Fuck. Oh boy. I don't think he's gonna move anytime soon. You know what? It could- That's not him. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> Rat attack. Fuck it! You know what? I'm- I'm- I'm doing it. That was a scab all along. Okay. Yeah, boy! Alright. Dude, I'm getting the cap of the day. Psych. Get out. Alright, still have to grab the uh okay man uh, let's grab him first huh so you find the customs office key and the customs office that's great Bro, what a productive raid. I, I need I need more of these. You guys know that feeling when you become too relaxed after having a couple of good raids. Exactly what happened. You know, I think this phenomenon definitely exists in Tarkov. It's just like, it affects people differently, dude. You see, for me, I become blind, man. I can't see anything. This is what I'm talking about. All right, same pathing. Only more loot. Only more productive oh, sniper scab. Oh, get that Mosin, I see. All right. It's kind of hard to push the dorms right now and be walking into a trap. I don't know, man. It sounded like they were, uh, What's the word? Going prone? There's that rule. When you think you heard something, you heard something all right. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of myself right now. Okay. I know it's not much, but come on, bro. I took it. I took it slow. I didn't push. Trusted my gut. Relied on my hearing. Still gonna take it slow. You know, scout the area, see what's going on. 
I know I'm greedy. I don't know, man. Like... He's got an armband. Psychological warfare. Or is it? Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this video, dudes. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all my Patreon supporters. And if you guys want to see some behind the scenes stuff, check out my Instagram page. Thanks for watching and see you next time.